I met Mika when she was a sophomore. I remember um, being so uh, impressed by her because she was already in the world doing things and um, it wasn't too far into that first semester that she asked um, permission to be uh, to miss a few days of classes and it was because she was part of um, a national organization that was a commission for um, the status of women in the ELCA and so she had to go to a board meeting uh, and talk about things like gender violence and preventing domestic violence and um, the HIV AIDS crisis and she was one of six people from the entire country who were part of this group and so I remember just being impressed by her from the very beginning. She has accomplished more in her short life than I think most people do in a whole lifetime. Um, the amount of impact she's had uh, domestically but also internationally in terms of things like fighting against world hunger is just astounding. Um, I, I remember watching the video um, of her at the ELCA youth gathering a few years ago and she was speaking in front of a group of 30,000 young adults from around the country and she was talking about um, how people view her and think that she's a little naive uh, or maybe crazy for thinking that she could end world hunger and poverty and um, and yet that's what she's driven to do and she's the type of person that I think could actually accomplish that. I admire how she's used her personal story as inspiration for the work that she does. Um, I admire how she's fearless about entering into the world of powerful people. Um, I admire the wisdom that she brings in those situations. And I admire her perseverance, that she absolutely never loses sight of her goal and she keeps working towards it. Mika is um, a reminder of the potential that's in every student that we have. Um, she came from a small town in northern Minnesota and she's changing the world. Well, she was instrumental in the May Day conference that brought Lemma Bowie to Gustavus, Nobel Prize winner. She met Bowie when she was organizing another conference for the ELC. ELCA in Washington, and so she got to help bring that connection um, to Gustavus. And that was, I think, one of the most powerful um, events I've ever been a part of at Gustavus. She was an incredible speaker, and um, Bowie was so inspirational, and the students loved it. But one of my favorite memories of that event was at the um, the Friends of the Library luncheon that happened right after it. And Mika spoke there and introduced um, Lima Bowie. And um, she shared a little bit about her story and about how she came, how Mika came to be um, passionate about the issue of hunger and poverty and, and her personal story as an adoptee and um, getting to meet her birth father. And I think at the end of that, um, I was crying, I'm sure other people were as well, um, but just to hear how her life, the, the track that her life has taken, um, and the way that she gives back to the Gustavus community um, through all of that is um, just a really special thing.